Hello everybody, I'm Nash, I'm back again. I have a really weird setup going on right now, so this is really low down, but mostly so you guys can see what I'm doing on this side of things. So today I'm gonna be starting on making these scales. So I have the trusty torture device, and I have this, which I'm gonna use to make a pattern, and then I have the other stuff. So I'm pretty much gonna just show you guys what I do, and um, explain what I do as I'm doing. So first things first, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna cut out a square, fold it in half, um, make the shape. So I'm making a scale shape, and yeah. Now for this part, never draw on the front part. Never want to draw on the part that's going to be out and people see. So what I'm doing is I'm going to flip. It's really long, there's like two meters. Using Henny Dandy Sharpie. If I had planned out the shapes better, I probably could have made it so that there was pretty much no empty space between, but I didn't. Like one of those old timey puzzles. I'm just gonna cut them out now. And keep a hold of all of your, pan your patterns because they're super useful. In case you need to make more stuff later. So you might hear drones thing in the background, but now we're going to punch out holes from these ones. Definitely not the sharpest anymore. That's cool so far, hey? So, mostly I figured out the pattern that I need to kind of do. I'm gonna do more back and forths because it needs to actually be reinforced because right now this looks like a fucking gong show. I've kind of figured out how the pattern and my pattern idea works in general. I'm gonna have to do more crosses essentially to just reinforce this. See, as it got uh, longer, it got a lot more stronger and reinforced, so I think technically this should be able to work. I literally have to do a million of these.
All right, so I think I'm mostly done the chest piece now. It's essentially like a corset is the plan behind it. I'd show you guys how it looks, but I can't just yet, but maybe later in the video, depending on how editing and everything goes. But this is what it is so far. It's really kind of tubular. Can't quite tell because of it's not on a person, but it does have a little bit of form fitting to it. And it's like a little stretchy. No, it's not stretchy at all. It's a little form fitting because of how it is. And it's actually pretty cool. Kind of goes, and holds together and flares out at the bottom as you can see. So it's kind of got a nice sort of shape to it. But here's how the front and everything is and it looks and it looks pretty decent, a little bit loose on the bottom. From the back, that's how it ended up being. And then we have some zips to zip it up. So if I go like this, I like how the scales cover up the zipper because it makes it look nicer, but it's not very user friendly. And one of my main things when I make cosplays is, which I think I may have mentioned before, is can you get into it and out of it by yourself? If you needed to, you can get in and to and out of it yourself. On the back, fold over nicely, cover the zipper, although I might kind of get rid of that and make it so that it doesn't. Not too sure yet. But anyways, the zip at the back will probably even it out so then it looks more flush. But this part on the back is going to be covered by the cape anyway, so I'm also not too worried about how it looks. But this part of the front gonna be like this part down that's like noticeably shown depending on how high up I have the cape. Now we are done essentially down the corset and in a couple days I'll actually be able to put it on the person who's gonna wear it and see if it actually fits which I'm a little scared of because I measured her a whole bunch. I lost the measurements so I've just been like hey I think you're about this size you're like kind of the same height as me and we kind of have similar proportions in some places and not at all the same in other. Let's hope it fits. And if it doesn't, uh, I can fix this. I think that's enough of a little mid summary. And now onto the gauntlets, and mostly gauntlets and other stuff. I worked on the gauntlet pieces and I only remember to videotape a very, very small portion of it. So I'm gonna go over a little bit of what I did here. He has one half sleeve and one kind of almost a full sleeve. So that's what I've gone and made here. Gives you move to bend and move. Same with the half sleeve as well. So I made the half sleeve first. Pretty easy to make. I'm gonna flip it inside out here. Just went, sewed along the edges. So I measured my friend, who I'm making this for, her wrist and up here, so that we had that, and also how long this part of her arm was. And then I drew out my little diagram. I actually didn't draw a diagram, I just kind of freehanded it on the fabric. And then I went to make it look kind of nice here. For this one, I sewed the zipper on the opposite way. Sewed them, I, when I sewed it on, like I lined up the edges so that when you see it on the outside, it looks really nice and you can't actually see. So it's kind of hidden. Only thing is, I did the zipper backwards, but intentionally. Reason being, I have really tiny wrists and so does she. So I'm like, oh yeah, we can put it on. Oh my god, my hand, which is not small like my wrist is, is not gonna fit to this little tiny wrist hole. Oh, but if I put the zipper on backwards instead of putting it down here and zipping it up this way, which would be easier when you're putting it on, I did it backwards so then I can just put it on really easily. Zip it up. We're gonna make glove pieces that go on underneath this, but holy fuck, I suck so bad at making gloves. I've tried like, I should show you guys some of them. They're just not working out. Anyways, the glove pieces are just gonna tuck in underneath. This one, I did a couple different steps. So first step, I started it with the same general style as this one did, although I gave it a little bit more room, which I'm gonna have to kind of tidy up, but she hasn't tried it on yet, so, which is gonna be in like an hour here. We're gonna get her to try it on and make sure everything fits. I started it kind of the same way, except for instead, uh, I realized I have elastic, and I specifically bought elastic for these arm pieces. Why don't I use elastic down here. I still think I might use some elastic to tidy up this part so it's a little closer in the end, but I want to see how it fits underneath the gloves first. Anyways, so we have elastic so we can fit our, our hand through, but then it sits tightly on our wrist. And then a little bit more elastic and a little bit more elastic. So I made this piece first, you know, just sewed it on pretty simple and easy. And then this part, what I did next is I sewed two more pieces of elastic on here, connecting the top and bottom pieces, and also like did the main nice stitching to put all the edges away. A zipper as well. Well, you know, Jack, but not really. But you just go in and zip it up. So this is so far working and looking like it's fitting well. Hope it's all gonna work out perfectly and I hope everything fits there. But we're gonna try it on really soon and I'm really excited. So this is just making the gauntlets parts. I'm going to be putting scales, all of them. Right now this is just basic fabric, so it's easy and bendable. Scales are gonna be made as the same material as what the 
I'm pointing at it, chest piece is gonna be, because it's all the same. The same with the boots, they're kind of made this chest piece as well. It looks cool, it looks totally great, It'd be awesome. And it looks cool, and honestly, like this looks super cool, and I love how this part is looking like I'm super happy, and it's with, I'm gonna be hot gluing all the scales on, so that'll be super fun to see how those look. Finally, the moment of truth, seeing if all this stuff actually fits. So, right. to start, um, this is the this piece, so like that. Okay. 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 Alright. I'm wearing my padded bra though. Uh, whoa. <laughs> I fit it over my boots, so it should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, no, perfect. Perfect! Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, I have lots of room. And you have it can be, and you can like, try and like, sweet. Okay, that works perfect. Yeah, how fun. Yeah, it looks perfect. It's actually fitting you awesome. Like, this is your this arm. Okay, cool. Uh, this arm. <laughs> this is your this arm, as I don't actually tell you which arm it is. Uh, mm -hmm. Should I go like my whole hometown through there? Well, yeah, I haven't made the belt yet. One arm's like long, one arm short. You're gonna have scales on them like this on those. You might have to make the base first. That looks nice. cool. So I've been working on the boots and I haven't really been recording anything I've been doing with them at all. Mostly because it's pretty similar standard stuff I've already been doing on everything. And actually same with the gauntlets as well. So I recorded a little bit of what I did with the gauntlets but not everything. So I'm going to go and show you guys all of that right now. So we have one of the gauntlets here. So this one's pretty simple. Zip, this is the one that zips up from the bottom and then just zip it on after. With the scale mail design. I did it pretty much the same way I did the main piece there. I went and sewed on in rows. You can kind of see a little peek of that there. Patched it, sewed it in a couple little parts here. And then I actually used a handy dandy dollar store glue gun to attach it in a bunch of different places around and just secure it down. Then it's just a nice little simple gauntlet. And then with the same whole arm piece, exact same. So I just did two sheets. How many rows is this? So, so 16 rows on the top, 12 on the bottom. I used a new template, which is this, except for this one doesn't give you enough room. So I made like, I just ended up giving it an extra, maybe half an inch to an inch above so that when I'm sewing them underneath, it's actually like tucked away properly and nicely. But anyway, so this is this whole thing just looks Nice there. It can go, it has like a good amount of movement and everything. I still gotta like clean it up a little, but it fits pretty well otherwise. Looking cool, looking fab. I'll have to, the bicep I think area is a little bit big so it slips down a little. So I'm gonna figure out something to secure it on so it just stays up just a little higher. Yeah, so just making the sheets and then sewing on the sheets and then glue gunning them. I really like how this one did. So the, the second, the bottom piece here was almost, I wouldn't say seamless. I was able to glue gun it really nicely. Like look how beautiful that is. So next I did the boots. So I'm not done the boots. I've done one of the boots so far and I'm not done the boot yet, but this is where I'm showing you for this one. So this is a boot. I just bought it from Ardeen's actually. This is what the boot looks like when there's nothing on it. This is what the boot looks like when there's scale mail on it and it's looking really nice. This one I did not do sheets for because of the flexibility and it's actually made of a little bit of a stretchier fabric. I decided the best thing to do with this one is just uh, individual scales again and then just hot glue gun the individual sta scales right onto the boot. So that's been looking great. And honestly, I'm like like a little bit in, like, in love with how this is looking. This one isn't done to either because the top part because it goes like over the knee area. So I'm gonna have to make sure I'm making that like acceptably stretchy and everything for her. This, 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 this for her costume, the boots. Then I have to figure out all the securing and keeping everything in place. Do you make the cloak still? It's really close to being done on theirs. 